just walking over here behind a, uh, an individual. It looked like they were, you know, an islander. Had like a Hawaii tech shirt on. Kept insisting that the cars go. Now we're trying to cross the, the, the road there in, you know, between the malls back there and there's points where cars come in and cars go. You gotta be careful because, you know. And, um, yeah, it's like there's, he's got a bunch of people, including me, behind him. And he keeps uh, stopping in place and insisting the cars go first. He's holding up all his stuff. Look, what the fuck are you doing, buddy? I don't know who his deal was. It's fucking weird. I've never seen that kind of thing before. It's not here, nor there, nor anywhere, but, you know, I'm just saying. I was in, a, I was in Ross earlier. Um, much like the, the Batman comic books in which... Gotham City is a character. Ross is very much a, a character uh, here on my channel. Um, three, three, three for that for that Mason Pop. And I'm standing in line. There's this there's this guy behind me, and I, I'm not. He's. I'm just hearing him. I'm not turning around looking. Very deep voice. I talk to very loudly and inappropriately. Um, and I hear him swearing, and he, he starts to apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know there was a child there. I didn't, you know, because there's kids in the line, old people and shit, like always. And um, he starts apologizing for it. And I'm just like, fuck it, heck. And he starts going on about how he, he didn't, he's sorry his comedy act is offending people. So he's doing some kind of comedy act in the line at Ross that we're all trapped in. So I'm just like, why did, why did he do this? Why do they always have to be the center of attention? They, they can't just, sit, you know, fucking Amish. Why do they like this, you know? So all these, uh, the meme is just going through my head on a loop, you know? Really inappropriate stuff. I won't make them love the people's lives. And you're like, what the fuck, man? And, you know, they can remember, don't get, they can't get angry because they don't know what they're doing. They, 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 they're not trying to be assholes. It's just, it's just what they do, you know? And um, as I turn to, to walk toward the counter, I take a look back uh, to get a look at this, this guy. And it is a large, silver-bearded, Caucasian gentleman. And uh, I went, and my feelings went from uh, annoyance to, to anger. What the, why are you doing this? We don't do that stuff. That's, that's not our stuff, that, that, that's their stuff. Let, let them do that. Let, let the Amish do that. You know, what, what, I was so incensed. I mean, you're gonna make us all look bad, right? Out here doing that. Crazy. He had the voice and everything. I was, you know, there was no doubt in my mind what, what, what I was gonna see when I looked back, but yeah, I don't know. He looked slightly, maybe even a bit homeless too, but I, I couldn't tell, you know. Um, I gotta figure out where people are walking sometimes so I can adjust my kind of pathing but they have a lot of them have this thing and yeah I'm gonna fucking bitch about something they have this thing that I, I've named uh, all options walking all options walking is like what you saw back there I was trying to figure out if they were going this way or that way so it kind of slowed down and they stayed diagonal the whole time not really letting me know where they were going until the last minute People do this all the time because I think that they want to keep all their options open. I might want to go over there. I might want to go over there. I might want to go back there. So, uh, Ross, they had a, uh, that you could give money to um, the Boys and Girls Club. I don't trust those people at all. When you give to the Boys and Girls Club, you're, you're giving them money to, to go uh, kidnap boys and girls, basically. I mean, look what happened on Maui. We still haven't found, we. They still haven't found all those children there. Oh no, what's happening here in Cold How? Is there something happening? Oh no. That's some kind of thing. They have something happening here all the time. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back in the mall. We're gonna go, yeah, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. No, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. It's like a smoke out here and people stay away from me. I don't know what this one's called, but there's, there's some kind of thing happening here all the time. Uh, I bet there's some cool stuff in there, but I'm never going to see it, so. But, uh, yeah, they, I, I gave some money, uh, $5, uh, to the 
boys and girls club uh, against my my better judgment. But anyway, and the reason I did it is because uh, it was completely self-serving. When when you when you donate, they give you uh, they sh they give you a shout out where they yell your name like so and so just donate, and then they give you the the chingy who or whatever the fuck it's the the Hawaiian is this a chingy who ching ho? It's like a Hawaiian thing where they uh, they yell they, they you know give like a woohoo type of thing. It's like a version of that. I don't know if it's, if that's exactly what it was, but it was something like that. So uh, I made sure it was very clear. I spelled my I spelled my name very clearly in print and explained to her. No, you pronounce it T I. It's just T and then I. You say Chad T I. I wanted that pop. You know, I wanted that pop for me. You know, and I got it. We're gonna walk it out the door. I got that. Uh, I got the Chad T I pop. It was nice. I gotta get something out of this. Yeah, I felt that. Uh, Speaking of homeless people, I watched this thing last night and I felt really bad, but like, um, I feel like I, I bag on them too much, you know? Just because I've had a lot of bad experiences and and you do, you know, they're out here, but there's also a lot of good guys that are just trying to survive, you know? And as this country goes down the fucking drain, more and more people are put in that situation all the time. People that people that never would have normally been in that situation. I could easily be in that situation, you know? I mean, a few things go wrong or a few things happen and, you know, no one is immune from it, you know? Uh, or most people aren't immune from it. And I'm just watching them talk to this guy who's trying to explain, you know, the, what they could use and how they could be helped. But as I'm watching them, just like, they, they, this will never be solved. Because it's become a, a financial um, thing now it's become a you know a financial issue there there are there's money in that in what has become like the homeless industry there are people that have jobs that work at outreach they have centers that they create counseling all these uh, all these systems in place to try to deal with home it's just like fucking, you know it's like a lot of other things in this country so it created an industry that's built up around helping the homeless helping not solving because if they solve it right they're out of a fucking job so that they don't want to solve it they just want to keep it how it is there is no answer for this there's no easy answer i mean you just it's i found that it's too overwhelming as uh an issue to try to figure out you can only kind of do what you personally can handle help how you can you know, whether it's give a guy a couple bucks or whatever, I mean, if you find some, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't have an answer. Because there is no answer. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people, if they could, would, would try to help in any way they could to solve that problem. But it's a problem that isn't meant to be solved. Uh, you'd have to decentivize it financially for it to be solved. The only way you would solve that problem is to make it so... That, that no one makes money or gains power from the issue, whether it's political power or something else. You have, to, you have to keep it so no one benefits from it. And once no one benefits from it, it'll be solved real quick. You know, because uh, what it would just come down to is like, do we want to, this, this guy, so and so want people in front of his house in a, in a camp? You know, they, they don't want that. But there's no, there's no institutions that are set up to, uh, oh, it's awesome. And there's no institutions set up to, to help that or facilitate that or just keep the status quo. Then, then the, you know, that's where you can solve it. That's not gonna happen though. Ah, they're protesting. Who are they protesting? Uh, where? Where is it? Um, enslaved. Was it about Maui? Oh, smart cities. Yeah, it's about Maui. Yeah. Yeah, what, what they're doing really over there is, I mean, it's out in the open. Everybody saw it. Like, we all watched it in real time, and everybody just said, like, what the fuck are you going to do? And that's their attitude, too. Their attitude is, like, fucking do something about it. What do you do? What do you do? They, you know, I mean, it's... How do you challenge that? 
How do you challenge that, you know? Again, it's just like it's almost it's just like the homeless situation too. It's like just such a big unwieldy unwieldy problem. It's almost like there there is no there's no entry point. There's no entry point for this. From Maui, man. They just fucking they burn that place so that they can put their little city in. Kill a bunch of people purposely so that they wouldn't have a problem getting the land. And you know. And that's why you have Rock trying to fucking be in WrestleMania. He, he has to get that he has to get that pop back. He has to get that uh he has to get the people's love back. Yeah, that 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 is a that is a crazy, crazy situation over there. Those sort of organized protests though, things like that, don't ever get involved in those fucking things. A lot of them are set up, you know, by glowies anyway, because they want you to get into it so then they can down the line they can bust you or something. And that's all it is. And yeah, you know, there's been these Jesus people on here. Well, there always is Jesus people, but there's these particular Jesus people here lately that uh, they're Chinese, and they have these like really well-made kind of signs, you know, like um, like almost like they all printed them together. You know what I mean? Or they had a company print them. I don't know. I, that always kind of it gets a sideways look from me. You know, and, and the people usually they have these Chinese women that have been around seem you know normal and well dressed and whatever, but a lot of times they get like they find like the craziest fucking Robin Williams Jumanji looking guy to stand on a corner and scream uh, about Jesus and stuff while holding something. And you gotta think like are they, are they just trying to make Christians look bad? And the answer to that is yes. You gotta remember there's uh, let's get out of the way here. There's um these are people with unlimited funds they're just looking for places to uh to spend these unlimited funds uh to, to push their agenda whatever they want you know minutes of horror once again fucking guy he's batting batting a thousand he kept this other video out today about how they're finding these things called obelisks inside people's body and they've just always been there oh that's the story oh these have always been here uh, and of course he's assuming, which I think a lot of us do when we look at it, that it has something to do with the the science juice, the mystery juice. You know, people go to a restaurant, they fucking want to know everything about what they're eating from these people, and then you get when it comes to something like this, it's just like just just hit me with it. I don't care what's in it, you know, it's crazy. But anyway, um, they were finding obelisks, uh, you know, like the things that you see well what the fuck, you know, an obelisk. He's got, he was explaining how the Washington Monument, the big one they have in uh, Washington, the big tall thing, it, it's Bale's, it's Bale's uh, deck, which, you know, that checks out, I get that. I actually built that thing as a, as a project in uh, middle school. And I built the top wrong. Like, it's supposed to have four sides, right? So they fold into each other. And my dad helped me. And my dad's a civil engineer. And uh, we didn't get the fucking... He built like a regular stock roof. And I remember at the time, being like, Dad, this isn't... I don't know how it looks. There's four sides of this thing. It's like a... You know? And, and my teacher, too, was like, No, you can't, I can't give you a passing grade on this. You fucking... You went through the trouble to get this whole thing. I went to a craft store and got the... You know? Now, I wasn't a very bright kid, obviously, because I couldn't... I didn't know how to cut a four-way fucking peak, you know? But come on, Dad. Jesus Christ, man. He's great, though. You know, my dad, when it comes to engineering stuff, I was just thinking about him today, like the way he used to draft plans. Like, um, he would find this perfect kind of, uh, this perfect mix of artwork, of art, and uh, form and, and function. Like, he could read them for their intended purpose. It would show, like, the sidelines of the property lines of whatever building they were proposing, whatever building we were updating or looking at, whether it was there or being built. But he had a, he would do it like a piece of art. And his plans were beautiful, beautiful. Some of his stuff was really nice. Uh, and then sometime in the 90s, everybody switched over to AutoCAD, which is, uh, so computers would then make these plans. Um, and they just fucking, they look like, you know, stuff you'd get, you know, if you buy a, 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 
a TV stand, and it looks like the instructions on how to put it together. It's just it's a blueprint. It looks like shit. I mean, it's not... It serves its purpose, but there's no humanity in it. You know, the way my dad used to make stuff like that, he would, he would get the, the important parts of it like, that you had to have to meet the standard requirements of, of, a, of a plan like that, but he would also put, you know, a lot of, a lot of work into making it look great. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a smart guy with that stuff. But I can't give him... How you doing? I can't give him points for, uh, for the Washington Monument. Though. He, 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 didn't do, he didn't do a good job there at all, you know. But whatever. I mean, I don't know. It's hey, in, I mean, what's up? Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? But, um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know what, what got me thinking about that. But, uh, but there you have it. Haven't had any luck with the demon thing lately. It's like they're on vacation or something. I don't know. I was looking, I was over by Ross, of course, the other day, and there's this area there, I pointed out, where there's always a lot of demonic activity. Uh, it seems like when, many times, will be when I see a possessed person, they're always there. You know, there's a little, it's this little dark corner, and when they're not there, it's just pretty much an Amish hangout. You know, they're always over there playing their Amish music. And, um, I was looking at it the other day, walking by it, they were doing some sort of, a uh, upkeep on it and it's got this really crazy looking manhole that's raised above the ground it's the most scary looking thing it looks like something from it and there's this older guy uh you know laying there and he's kind of riding he's a homeless man he's riding he's got his uh hands down in front of his pants it's almost like a charger for demonic energy like you know you get a phone charger they go over there and charge up their fucking evil shit People that are possessed, you know, not so much the Amish. The, the Amish don't know what the fuck's going on. But, uh, so there's this lady walking up with her daughter, and her daughter's little girl. She's just, she's just looking at the guy, like... And, and before I, I came up, I was walking on the sidewalk uh, near them, and I'm like, oh, please don't let that little girl see that old man. Because he's, like, got his hands down his pants, he's going, eh, 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 like, convulsing on the wall there, laying down. The kind of shit you shouldn't allow. You know, if I lit up a cigarette, though, over there, five guys would run out and uh, get in my base about it. But they don't care what this, about this kind of shit at all. At all. Uh, because there's, I mean, there's one, they don't know how to deal with it. And another thing, too, is they're scared. There's a fear there. They're afraid of these people. They shouldn't be. But whatever. If, you, if, if you're scared, you're scared. So, uh... I see this little girl, and she comes out, looks right at him, and she's like, you just look on her face. And as I walked by her, I said it in my mind, I said, don't be afraid. And I said, I really should, should have said that out loud. But I didn't want her mom to be chasing me down the street. What are you talking about? You know? <laughs> so I didn't say anything, but I said it in my mind, you know? I kind of focused on her. You know, uh, it's kind of, you know, slight magic bullshit. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's sad, you know, how they, they can't seem to get a handle on that. Yeah, I mean, these people do whatever the fuck they want. You know, they, they, they walk around shitting on the sidewalk, throwing garbage in the air. And it's always the children and the older people that I always feel bad about when I see them looking at it. I just, it makes me so angry. I know the man's fucked up. He's got mental health issues. He's probably fucking possessed, whatever. But, uh, you can't move him along. It's a major sidewalk. It's a major fucking people. Tons of people walking by here. You, you can't come up and be like, you, you got to move, buddy. Or call, call one of these fucking, these ambassador guys that are so interested in what I'm filming and, and have them move this fucking guy. You can't do that. Or just say, hey, you know, there's a million things you could do there besides letting him lay there and macerate and yell in front of this, you know, young kid. You know, she doesn't need to see that. Probably never seen anything like that in her life. Probably never seen anything like that in her whole life. It was just so sad, man. It was sad. And, uh, yeah, but the, I mean, there's no answer to that. 
there is, there is no solution because they don't want a solution. They don't want a solution. And it's one of those things where, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. There's nobody, no one's really at fault. I mean, you can't, you can't, uh, you know, you can't be mad about people with mental health issues or possession issues. I mean, even if you were normal, right? Like, I've seen it. Guys that were kind of normal uh, before they get on the street. You get on the street and you become crazy and drug addicted. You can't, because there's nowhere to sleep. You can't sleep at night. If you fall asleep, people rob you. Um, and they just, uh, so they just get on the drugs and then, you know, I mean, like I said, I've seen guys come in here like young kids or like young, fucking everybody's young to me, but like younger people, uh, young guys and they'll come in here, you know, new and they get a little black bag to end up down to fucking the princess triangle over here. And then, um, I've seen them like a, a couple years later and they look like fucking Rip w Winkleson, R Ripsy Wil Wilkinson, uh, fucking Who's that guy? Rip Van Winkle. Is that Ice? No, it's Rob Van Winkle. They, they look like Old Man River. You know, big beard. Uh, you know, gray hair. It's like, what the fuck happened to that guy? Well, being on the street is what happened to that guy. If, if you're not already in that situation, uh, just being out there makes you like that. You know, and, and, there, and as long as there's some kind of financial component to this, it's never going to change. Because people don't want to solve it. It's just like the medical industry. No one wants to cure anything. They want to keep you sick because if they cure you, then there's no fucking job anymore. So it's a bit like that. It's just that you can see it out in the open. And it's, uh, it's horrifying, man. We're going to be fine now. You know, everything's going to be fine. You know, we're going to... Uh, I was watching Regan Kelly the other day, and every time I watch her, it's like it gives me more evidence that there is a universal consciousness. Because that kid says, kid, that woman says everything. Like that, I, I've been thinking of. Every time I see a new video of her, it's like, I was just thinking about all this shit too. It's like, because we're all pulling from the same consciousness. Um, and so a lot of the, when there's something in the air, or an I ideas that are, it always happens at the same time. It's not just her, like with other people that are in the, in the spiritual awakening, kind of uh, spiritual war, correspondence or whatever uh, genre, schizo genre, uh, everybody tends to talk about the same stuff at the same time, almost like, you know, we're getting our own sort of, uh, not really a download, but we're taking from this, uh, this universal consciousness thing. Or well, it seems that way, anything, anyway, anymore. All right, I'm gonna go in. I might go give a demon run later. Just for, for old time's sake, you know, give it a spin to see if I can catch anything. But, yeah, lately it's been coming up empty. But, uh, Hope Springs Infernal. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school.